Hi, I'm Rodney Miller. And I'm Jan Carl. Thanks for choosing to watch this clip from our Small Town Big Deal YouTube channel. For full episodes, go to our website, smalltownbigdeal.com. Now, enjoy the video. We're all going to get to hear Rodney's musical talents. <laughs> He's going to sing. Jan, you probably shouldn't have told them that. They might change the channel. Oh, don't change the channel, because trust me, you don't want to <laughs> miss this. We're in Crossville, Tennessee, which is about halfway between Knoxville and Nashville. And the town's big claim to fame is the Cumberland County Playhouse. Welcome. They call this place Tennessee's Family Theater. You know, you can already feel the warmth and friendliness. So you feel comfortable enough that you might break out in song? Be nice, Jan. I just can't wait to hear this. <laughs> Welcome to the Playhouse. Each year, the Playhouse presents 400 shows to an audience of 130,000. And most of those folks come from small towns. Everybody ready to see a great show. Yeah. Thank you for being here and enjoy Smoke on the Mountain. There's a church in the valley by the wild. find out how this playhouse came about and Jim Crabtree was my man. Jim, tell me a little bit about how this playhouse got started and the history <laughs> that how it dates back. Well, uh, my late father was writing for the Loretta Young show on the coast in 1963 and her series got canceled so then dad said, well, I gotta park these seven children someplace other than the San Fernando Valley of Los Angeles. So he called my grandmother here in Crossville, Tennessee and said, you'll find us a house. We're coming to Crossville for a little while. And we came in August 1963 temporarily and we've been here ever since. <laughs> Jim's dad, Paul Crabtree, was asked to write and produce a musical for the local junior high. The musical was called The Perils of Pinocchio. He did Pinocchio and it, it excited the community. I'll say excited because just 18 months after that junior high school presentation of Pinocchio, the Cumberland County Playhouse was opened. You know, it's a 500 seat theater in a town of just 5,000. They had a lot of faith, it was gonna work. And the town saw the potential for tourism, for visitorship, for education, and the playhouse became a destination. Thanks, guys. Thanks for coming. I wonder if the playhouse would hire me to be or not to be. That is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind, I don't know the rest of it. <laughs> oh, shucks. Rodney doesn't know the rest of Hamlet's speech. What a shame. So I'll never be a headliner, but the Cumberland County Playhouse has a true Hollywood actor, Bob Gooten, starring in his own musical called Walking on Water. So Bob's a pretty big deal. I mean, he's been in countless Broadway musicals. He's been in over a hundred TV shows and films, but you'll probably remember him just like me as the warden in my favorite movie, The Shawshank Redemption. I used to think because I was the first uh, Juan Perón on Broadway that that my obituary would read, Bob Gunton, parentheses, Juan Perón. <laughs> and now I suppose it's gonna be Bob Gunton, the warden of Shawshank. <laughs> I was very proud of, of the film, of being a part of it, and of, of that performance. You know, it was a great film, and I'll never forget the one scene when you pull the, the, uh, the poster back and there's right. The, right. the tunnel. Oh, everybody loves to see this, uh, this slimy guy <laughs> fully realize how the wool has been pulled over his eyes. <laughs> and you know, for everybody who has trouble separating uh, film from reality, it's good to know that you're still alive. Hey, and, that, and that I'm a, a sweetheart <laughs> too. I'm nothing like that guy. A lot of famous actors get their start in small towns. And Bob, he's no exception. He got his start right here in Crossville, Tennessee. Walking on water. Folks, in July of 1965, I was the summer hillbilly heartthrob of the Cumberland County Playhouse. I came here out of the seminary for a summer job with uh, Jim Crabtree, who was now the producing director, but his father at that time, father and mother, were running the playhouse, and it probably religion dodged a bullet 
when, uh, <laughs> when I decided to become a, an actor. Bob and Jim were cast in a musical written by Jim's dad called Tennessee USA. I'd never been the star. Mm -hmm. And here, partially because it was such a tiny little place, uh, to be the star of a musical in 1965 in Crossville, Tennessee, was being in high cotton. Folks, I was Peter, Paul, and Mary. And I think it's really what launched my passion for theater and for what can happen in a place like this. And it turns out he has gone from the seminary to the Cumberland County Playhouse, to Vietnam, to Broadway, to Hollywood. Bob makes it look so easy. Maybe I can do a little singing. What well, would you like to take a look at it? <clears throat> I'll give you a note. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Thanks for watching this clip from Small Town Big Deal. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and be sure to click the bell so you'll be notified when we upload new videos. Also, click the like button. To see full episodes, go to www.smalltownbigdeal.com.